Hey, it's me, the glass of old water by your bed. Mm, it's 4 a.m. and you're too lazy to walk to the kitchen. I guess that makes this last call. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, food crumb. Hey, uh, vibrator, give me a half-empty bottle of melatonin with a stretched out hair tie on the rim. Hey, don't skimp on the hair! Hello, handsome stranger. I'm the farmer's daughter. If you need a warm place to sleep tonight, you're welcome to the barn. I just need to finish my chores, starting with churning this here butter. Ooh, yeah. You gotta churn it nice and slow so it gets super creamy. <laughs> and then you really gotta put your back into it, you know, otherwise the milk will curdle. And I know what you're thinking. Yes, I do have early onset arthritis. Everyone, please give a round of applause to, um, oh, sorry, <laughs> right on the tip of my tongue. Melissa, my new daughter-in-law. <laughs> All right, that's enough. Now, did you know Melissa planned this entire event without any of my input? <laughs> and I think I speak for everyone when I say that while the hors d'oeuvres were dry and the music tasteless, the entrees were also dry. Hmm. <gasps> but there were some highlights, weren't there? <laughs> the couple's first dance I was conveniently in the bathroom for. <laughs> the tossing of the bouquet as I screamed at the bartender for not having any maraschino cherries. <laughs> and of course, the ceremonial cutting of the cake where I jumped out and smeared frosting on my own son's lips before Melissa could. <laughs> Oop, too slow. <laughs> this is the song that no one likes. Leading lady, wait. Listen, I know I'm just your father or husband or, I don't know, mayor or something, but the important thing is that I am not important. I'm just an old Broadway legend who wanted a role where I got a song, but I also got to sit down a lot. That's why five people clapped so loud when I walked out. <laughs> this is the song where you can cough. Cinderella? Uh, I'm your fairy fucking godmother. Let's get you to this uh, adult dance. First thing you need is an enchanted pumpkin carriage. I'm calling your ass an Uber. Let me just grab my magic wand. My Hitachi magic wand. All right. Shala Kadula, Mishikabool. Oh shit, my star ratings are two. Hope you don't mind that it's an Uber pool. Babbity babbity. Yeah, he canceled immediately. Well, guess you're taking city bike. Hi, I'm Amanda Kendrick, and I'm like definitely excited to read you Sleeping Beauty. It like totally isn't problematic and definitely doesn't reinforce the patriarchy. Anyway, here's the prince's song. I'm gonna rescue you in my mouth. When I first read the script for this film, Teary River, the story of a Holocaust survivor whose five children all drowned in separate swimming accidents that are her fault, I must admit it was difficult to get through, particularly halfway through the film when my character, Esther, is sent back in time and has to do the entire Holocaust over again. All right, people. It's a good day to save lives. <laughs> Quick announcement, I did get my dominant hand replaced with an arcade crane machine. Here we go, scalpel. <laughs> okay, you're just gonna line this up, and here we go, and damn! <laughs> so you never get it the first time, though. You never get it the first time. What's that, Daniels? Do I want you to take over for me? Uh, no, last time I checked, you don't have a crane arm. <laughs> scalpel. Okay, see, I had to look at it from the side. That's what it was. All right, here we go. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Yes! Damn it! <sighs> Does anyone have a quarter? How long have I been here? <laughs> you tell me, sweetheart. <laughs> Yesterday, the day before, whatever makes you feel better, honey. <laughs> After all, this ain't about attraction. It's about convenience. I know you'd rather be sipping on one of those chilly little Gatorades you got sitting in the fridge. Meanwhile, I'd rather be drunk by somebody whose lips don't look like two dry ass little snake skins. But we're the only ones here, baby. <laughs> Just you, me, a dusty quarter you found while vacuuming in a book you're never gonna read. <laughs> no offense, book. <laughs>